teachers. Today we are going to look at inserting or creating um, circles uh, with a radii, with um, sector areas, um, to, so that we can kind of see how we can navigate circles. So the first thing I'll do is just insert a circle from the basic shapes. You would definitely want to come and adjust the height and width so that you can ensure that it is the same. Uh, then I generally do no fill with a black outline and I'll increase the weight so that we can easily see what's going on here. Um, I create a center by just making another circle and then I usually make it um, small, like a 0.8-ish, um, zero, excuse me, 0 0.808. <laughs> and then I bring it down here. Oops, I'd like to have a black fill too. Um, and sometimes it's tricky. You, I have these grid lines on, so it does help a little bit to try to get it lined up. But the easiest way I've found, it, instead of trying to eyeball it, is to align center. And first group both of not group both of them, select both of them. Align center and align middle, and it looks like I had them both um, right in the middle. And then my other big suggestion is to always just control G to group these together because you're always going to want the center right in the center. But the next step of grouping them together is to lock the aspect ratio. That means whenever you shrink or enlarge the circle that it all stays proportional. So I'm going to enlarge it just so we can see. Actually, I'm going to go down to about, let's go, let's go three by three. There we go. Um, so I'm going to insert a radius now. And I just do that by grabbing one of these segments and I just drag it over. And when I look at my size, I definitely want it to be 1.5 because I want it to be perfectly halfway across the um, circle, and then I'd want a weight of zero just so that I can get a, per, a horizontal segment and then change the color and the weight. And if you want to group this together, you can do so. Um, if you want another radius or to create like um, an, a sector, you can just control V and then, or control C, control V. And let's then want to create like a sector that is 45 degrees. You can go to rotate and then rotate options. And on the rotation, you can just select, oh, I want this to rotate 45 degrees. And so then whenever I drag it down here and line it up, I have a 45 degree angle. You can change it to whichever angle you would like. And it will <clears throat> be the angle of the arc. Um, if I wanted to do like a shaded sector, I could insert this friendly guy because I can't really color one of these um, without coloring the whole circle. So this is my best friend when it comes to shading sectors. And so I want to have that the same size. I'm going to just lay it right over it. I'm going to change it to a gray. And then I can just drag these little orange dots to align it with what I had already set there with those radii. And right click, click send to back, and you've got a shaded sector. And then if you highlight all and control G, you've got your group. Definitely go back to size, hit lock aspect ratio so that you can enlarge or shrink. You can also rotate it. Um, and it will stay put. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.